everyone, what's happening? You're watching Brixelo. Welcome back to my Lego City. This video I'm going to be taking you through my custom fire station. This is a modified version of the Legoland fire station set. So, let's have a closer look. So, taking a look at the front here, you can see we've kept it pretty original to the uh, actual set. You can see it's got the two garage doors that slide up just like that they work quite well and I like the use of them we've also got these skylights above the garage here and I think that's good it makes it look a lot more open and it just looks adds another feature to the outside of the building across the side from those garages it also has these windows here each one can be opened as well and adjusted to whatever position you want. Also in the middle here, you can see we've got from the roof, we've got the roof is larger than the original build and that's because these walls only came to here. So I've actually extended them back so it goes all the way back and I've added a window. You can see there's the siren on top of the roof and two antennas as well which have also been given an upgrade and are now longer. We've also got more of those windows here but this time with the printed stripes, the shutters, they look nice on there. And a sticker, a new sticker, I actually custom printed this one because the original one after all those years has lost its stickiness. We've also got this window here right next to the door and the door opens of course and you can see inside there the other side is pretty much just an opposite build of the set from the other side so that's basically inside the outside I mean you can see it's also on this custom well this specialized base plate just for this set with new printing and that has these one, two numbers for the positions of the vehicles. I will have a look at the vehicles a little bit later on, but they're pretty much just the original ones from the build anyway. So, let's take a look at the interior. So, moving on, the back of this building is open just like the original design on the original model. You can see we've got the areas here for where the cars can go in and the fire trucks and I've also extended this whole section back all the way to the back and I've thickened up these pillars here and I think it just looks a lot better than the original design because the original design was quite thin and you can see I've got these windows here on both sides a couple of minifigures in there so I'll take off the roof and we can have a closer look. The roof also does have a ceiling fan there, just using some of these uh, skis, the snowshoes from the Arctic Sea theme. So the inside of the building is pretty simple, it just has this couple of minifigures here on coffee break and then it has like a little table here with some helmets, some fire helmets and also a box full of tools in the back corner with a fire extinguisher and a couple of other minifig accessories and then this little hole that goes down with a ladder down to the bottom floor which we'll take a look uh, in a sec and you can see we've just got a chair there and it's a pretty simple design and we've got these windows as well which give it a nice feel to the room. The top floor, floor isn't removable, just like in the original model, but I've still got the desk in there with the receptionist, got a newspaper on the desk and a computer, and here's a closer look at the ladder that comes down to the bottom floor. So as far as vehicles go for this build, they're pretty much the exact same as the original set, except for few minor differences but this one the big one has the ladder that extends on the top 
and can rotate 360 degrees. Got the controls in there, a few other details on the side. We've got the tools rack, and we've got the hose which extends on this roll, and you can easily wind that up as well. So I think that's a nice feature. And on the other smaller vehicle, we have just some tools clipped onto the back, another fire hose, uh, printed doors again, and both the vehicles have the same feature for getting minifigures in and out, just this uh, opening bit for the roof, they both have that. And also, just because I put this little ATV at the front. So in the city this one's located right towards the back from away from the uh, beach over there and it's right along next to the train track hence why the roof here sort of gets a little bit shorter and cut off a bit just so the train can fit around but it still works all good and you can't really notice it from the front anyway but I'm very happy with how this turned out I enjoyed building it and modifying the original set so if you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe and also check out my previous videos where I took a take a look at some of the vehicles around the city so thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon